Thanks. We'll see you then. Students at one of Groton's oldest schools will be bused to other schools come next fall. The Board of Education voted last night to close Fitch Middle School. News 8's Tina Detell is on the scene in Groton with reaction. The decision to close Fitch Middle School was met with a lot of resistance, but in the end it came down to money. This is the oldest and biggest middle school in town, but it's also the most expensive to renovate. $17 million the town just can't afford. Bob Post is raising his granddaughter, Stephanie, on his own in a nearby neighborhood. She is my life. Stephanie was supposed to head to Fitch Middle where she can walk next fall, but now she'll be bused to either Cutler or West Side Middle. Is that a little less convenient for you then? More than likely, but you know, we put up with the uh, things we got to be put up with, you know. School board member Chaz Zazulka voted not to close any middle school last spring. But when voters rejected a $133 million school upgrade referendum, cuts had to be made. My belief it's costing us more to go where we're going now without having that uh, referendum passed. Zazulka says the 83-year-old school, which is not totally handicapped accessible and needs the most work, was the logical choice of the three. <laughs> there are parts of the building where you cannot hear a fire alarm. Now renovations and portable classrooms will have to be added to the other two middle schools to accommodate Fitch's 400 students next fall. Things happen for a reason, and I've got to, and I've got to kind of adjust to those reasons. Even though Fitch Middle School will be shut down in September, it may remain operational just in case it's needed while the other two middle schools undergo renovations. On the scene in Groton, Tina Detell, News 8.